Hey everyone. So I have a video on YouTube already that um explains to you what to do with a uh with a Flipper Zero Wi-Fi module version one. Um, but the video is a little bit long-winded and doesn't exp uh, it explains everything. It's good, but it, it's just long-winded and slow. So I'm just gonna make a really quick one. Um, and here, so what's what's going on is. Um, if your Wi-Fi development module does not work properly, um, this is what you do. This is, these are the instructions on what to do. Um, so sometimes when you get it out of the box, um, sometimes if you don't press the button properly or if you do something um, wrong, the flash doesn't come out properly. So the way to do it, the way to fix it, and I'm, I'm not going to go over um what happens when it doesn't work um uh, because you've already established that and that's probably why you're here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh the manufacturer of these boards which is espressive and then you go to support you go to all and you choose this flash download tool and you download it and so when you download it you unzip it and once you unzip it you should have You get the download tool, you open the download tool. These are these instructions are on Guido website, but they uh, they don't go through things like this. So here, as soon as you open it, you choose you give it gives you an option to choose what device you have. You choose ESP32 S2, press OK. And in addition to having this window, you also have this window, which is telling you what's going on in the background as you do things. Okay. So as you can see here, I've been working in, with this device before, but we're going to pretend these are all empty. Pretend these are all empty, okay? So we're gonna choose this row. So you go here. Now here you go to the Marauder original. Okay, so originally you wanted to put the Marauder on it, uh, but you couldn't. So here you download the Marauder, Marauder. You go to the Marauder, you have Blackmagic, you have Marauder, but you choose Marauder. You choose Marauder.bin. Everybody see that? Okay, you choose marauder.bin and you open, you choose that to flash. These here, this information is on, is in the instructions. Um, but the number you put here is 0 x one zero 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 four zeros, And then you click here or anywhere and then you should see the wi the window on top it should say case okay test offset case okay that means everything's going okay now my uh flipper zero is not connected right now and in order to connect it properly and i have to use both hands here so i'm just going to have to put down the is the cable this is device I'm gonna to have to use both hands so it's gonna put this down for a second so you press the boot button 
for three seconds, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and connect the USB cable. You should hear the computer connect to something. And as soon as it connects, you go here, you choose the only com that is available, you press QIO, you choose, you can choose any speed. It typically works with any speed and you press start. As soon as you press start, you're going to watch that screen. Okay. If everything works properly, that is what you should see. If everything's not working properly, you're going to see a bunch of dots. If you see a bunch of dots, it's wrong. And that's it. Now you can close this, you can close everything. Okay, now, you're not done yet. After you do that, now you can go to the original place where you failed, which is in Flash, here. Now before, you probably failed when you press one here. Now everything works perfectly. After this is done, I'm going to show you quickly how to use that means everything is good and you can disconnect. You got absolutely no errors, so that means everything is good. Flipper zero. I'm going to test to see if this works. So when you press access, um, scan access points, these are all the routers that are available. Then you can scan station. When you choose station, it chooses everything that is connected to a router. Okay. And obviously the Wi-Fi is working. The Wi-Fi module is working. Yeah. Now. I'm not sure how to use SSID yet. So, so here you have list AP access points, list SSID, list stations. I don't know how to use SSID, but we're going to do access points. And so this is all the access points. And we're going to do a station. And these are all the items that are connected to the station. So now you want to attack something you go to select an access point you choose the access point you press save you go back and now you go back to list and you see your access point that you selected say selected next to it 
and you can do the same thing with a station. I choose a random station. You can see number five has been selected. In order to attack, if I press attack, anything that I selected will be attacked. Thank you. I hope this helps.